my name is Suma Narayanan. I'm the engineering manager responsible for driver assistance and safety. So this is a 126 BBC New Cascadia. It's got a Detroit diesel uh, engine, DD15, 500 horsepower, 1750 torque. It's got a DT12 transmission, and it has a Detroit Assurance safety speed. Today we are going to experience some functionalities of Detroit Assurance 5.0. Here what we will try to see is adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist and lane departure protection. So what you will see here is uh, this bicyclist will start coming beside me. Imagine this to be like a city traffic conditions. As the driver takes the truck and the trailer through city conditions, there are lots of people in the driver's blind spot. As soon as I turn the indicator on, it warns in the instrument cluster. You see that little triangle turned red, indicating that there is someone in the blind spot. The short range radar is on the passenger side of the vehicle and that is the most difficult part of the truck the driver has access to. So now that we are in a highway driving conditions, I will enable I will enable my cruise control. As soon as I enable cruise control, not only my distance control is active but also my lateral control is active. So the camera is constantly monitoring lane markings on the road. And once it is able to determine my position, the vehicle's position in the lane, it gives small steering inputs to make sure that the vehicle stays centered in the lane. But once again, this is purely that you can experience it. At no point of time, we want the drivers to depend on these systems and disengage from the activity. The hands-on detection is done by uh, monitoring what kind of a steering input is given we do not have any capacitors or any anything on the steering wheel that detects the contact we see who is giving Take input care. to the steering wheel if the driver is giving input to the steering wheel that's when we know that there is someone uh, behind the wheel fully attentive so my foot is still off the vehicle in front of me is going to come to a full stop please uh, watch out for some deceleration um, so what the vehicle is trying to do is, it's maintaining a safe following distance while staying in adaptive cruise control, while maintaining a safe following distance. And as the vehicle in front of us comes to a full stop, we also come to a full stop and we'll hold the brake because in some cases, the stops could be in an incline or a decline. So we can hold indefinitely. And in this case, the vehicle started moving in less than two seconds, which means that we can also start moving in less uh, if the stop is less than two seconds kindly bear with me i need to take a left here so this feature is called adaptive cruise control to zero miles per hour perfect for stop and go traffic as you can imagine